All right, sir, you've got it. Whatever you want, I'm here to please you. <laughs> so, your date is running late, huh? I hate to see that. You've been sitting here alone for, what, 40 minutes? You know, it's not my place to say this, but you deserve better, sir. Honestly, I would kill to go on a date with you. Most women would be swooning if you even glanced at them. You're a stud. I hope this doesn't embarrass you, but you have such a masculine, confident presence to you. Very in control and relaxed. Well, being a waitress, I'm trained to notice my customer's body language. To see when they're fidgeting and unhappy. A good waitress knows when their customer is having a problem and quickly handles it before the customer even asks. In a way, being a good waitress is like being a good lover. Knowing what your partner likes or dislikes, what turns him on or off. What menu item he secretly wants to try, but he's too nervous to ask. <laughs> so I'm kind of an expert on body language as a waitress, and also as a lo- Well, anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I'm impressed with how unfazed and nonchalant you are about your date not showing up. That's a sign of a man who is sure of himself, and whose emotions aren't dictated by someone else. For me, that's a very attractive quality in a man, and a big turn-on. Anyway, sorry, I got too personal. I'm only your waitress, here to serve you, and give you anything you need. And I do mean anything. I take great pride in my dedication to customer service. Oh, yes, I'm glad you notice. I'm very passionate about my customers and making sure they are happy. That's actually what I'm studying in school, hospitality. This waitress job is helping me pay tuition, and it's giving me first-hand knowledge of how to satisfy customers. Plus, it's not so secret that a happy, satisfied customer is usually a big tipper. I want to leave my customers satisfied. Then, they reward me with their big, generous tips. Oh, yes, sir, I have many repeat customers. They keep coming back for more again and again. They can't get enough of me and the delicious food I serve them. By the way, someday I'll have to tell you about all the secret off-menu items that I have available for my repeat customers. Mm hmm <laughs> My favorite customers are connoisseurs with massive appetites and massive wallets. Because the secret menu items, well, <laughs> they're not for the timid or frugal. I also like to personalize my menu items to match specific customers' tastes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my customer service skills are unmatched. People request me when they take their dinner reservations. <laughs> yes, sir, I come highly recommended. Mm-hmm. In fact, normally I'm only available by reservation only, for customers that have been pre-screened. I don't serve tables for the general public. But the maitre d', well, tonight he assigned me to serve your table when he noticed your date was a no-show. Because serving men dining alone is my specialty. So, what can I get for you, sir? Oh, sure, the bathroom. It's around the corner. Take a left, then two rights, then... Actually, come with me. I'll walk you there. There you go. Whoa, whoa, be careful. Okay, here a little tipsy. From all those drinks. Ugh, I had the bartender mix them too strong, I guess. Oopsie. <laughs> here, let me take your arm. Right this way. Follow me, sir. Oh, I didn't realize how muscular you were. I feel so dainty on your arm like this. Ah, uh, this must be how it feels to be your girlfriend. 
walking alongside you, arm in arm. Oh, that would be so dreamy. Mm, I've been grinding so hard at this waitress job, trying to pay for school. I bet a gentleman like you really knows how to spoil a pretty girl. Huh? An age difference? Oh, that doesn't matter to me. Emotional and personal compatibility, I think that's the most important thing in a relationship. And making sure your partner knows how to fulfill your needs, whatever they are. I just want somebody to take care of me. A big, strong daddy. You can provide for all my needs. <laughs> okay, here we are. Right through this door, sir. See, I told you the bathroom was a long way away. Now, sir. This is our luxurious private bathroom, reserved for our VIP customers. Yeah, let me go inside with you, just to make sure everything is to your liking. Oh, don't be silly, it's no trouble. I'm here to service your every need, remember? And you came here planning for a romantic dinner date with a delicious three-course meal, but your date is a no-show. Now you're alone and you must be starving. I feel like it's my duty to... Make your night memorable. So, let me be a good little waitress for you, sir. I wouldn't be doing my job properly if I let one of my customers go home disappointed. So, let me serve you. I've got quite a few off-menu items that I can recommend for you, sir. I need to remember my role. I'm your submissive little server. Now. Would you like to start by sampling some of my appetizers, sir? So, what do you think of these? The perfect portion for an appetizer, don't you think? They're so soft and tender. Like warm bread straight from the oven. <laughs> don't you love their springy, bouncy texture? Oh, I see you're licking your lips. It's okay, go ahead. I insist. <sighs> This is just an appetizer, sir. Slow down. You'll ruin your appetite. <laughs> Very good, sir. I can tell you're enjoying yourself, but we're only just beginning. Next, 